create intimacy with the audience, you're saying. How do you create intimacy with the audience? Got it. Okay, I got it. So, uh, we've been through this several times with you. Okay. So I want you to give me the answer. What do you need to do in order to allow yourself to be uh, available for kind of an intimacy? And, and I use the word relationship, but it's pretty much the same thing. Okay. So what do you need to do to, allow, to put yourself in a position to have intimacy or a relationship with the audience? So while you're thinking yeah. to the camera and everybody else, my definition of the relationship is to have your attention on the audience for your entire show. Okay, and as the show goes along, you see the relationship is you're letting their response to come in and have an impact on how you do the performance and sometimes even what you say. You put it back out, they respond, you notice, and that response has an impact on you. Now, on the very basic level, it's stopping talking so that they can laugh. But it goes far beyond that when you start doing tags and tag timing. There's these rhythms that you start working with them. And you're, you're, you're working with the audience in these rhythms and, and moving it along. You're kind of doing it together because you're in a feedback loop of them affecting you and you affecting them. Which means your attention has to be on them and you need to know, you need to be able to be flexible with the, the, the script of your show as well as the interpretation. Now I'm still going to say 95% of how you've usually done it is going to turn out the same way. A little bit of variations, maybe an ad lib here and there. So what's your answer? <laughs> focus more on the audience. What's that? I should focus more on the audience. Uh, yeah, but what do you have to do that you're not doing right now to focus on the audience? Letting go of the script. Yes, so what's the technique for letting go of the script? Have it in pictures in my head? Yes. Okay, remember, two ways of memorizing. Okay, picture sounds and feelings, we attach words to the pictures, right? Or say it over and over and over and over again until it's internal dialogue and then it's rigid, it's got to go in the same order, it's words, doesn't create behaviors and you have to disappear from the relationship completely to talk to yourself and then you're busy saying it and then talking. So there's just no attention for the audience. So, I mean, I know your goal last time was to really have a relationship with the audience and then it didn't happen, <laughs> okay? And it's because of how you rehearse. It's not about talent. It's not about how funny you are. It's not about intelligence. It's about you're still improperly rehearsing. You're still, because you're a writer, you're, you still think, oh, I, I've got to remember the words. Yeah, you do. But in relationship to pictures, sounds, and feelings, because then your mind is functioning normally and you ha can have attention for the audience. It's, you know, when you put it in internal dialogue, which you do, and you've gotten good, too. You're able to, like, space out <laughs> and put your eyes down inside your head and, and do that, right? It, you, you don't have to look down anymore. You've worked it out where you can kind of disfocus and do it. So you look slick. You don't look down, but you're still doing it. I can tell because, uh, because you don't have any attention for the audience. Your body language is stiff. It's about the words. It's, it's, it's the show's mechanical. I can actually tell uh, by watching a person walk on stage if they've memorized their words because their body language is stiffer, because they're all, they're obsessed with trying, hope I remember, I gotta remember about the internal dialogue spinning and spinning and spinning. Hi, how are you all doing this evening? Enjoying the show so far? How many people here went to college? You know, and they end up doing all the comics cliches as well. So the answer to your question is, you need to go back and review my rehearsal process. Everything you say has a picture attached to it. You will still memorize your words, but they'll be in relationship to pictures, sounds, and feelings. An experience that you're now going to tell the story of to the audience.